Oh, and good evening, good afternoon, good morning to everyone, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this little video that I have just created with regards to my upcoming conference. Now, this is probably one of the largest conferences with regards to long COVID. And it is something that I wanted to share with my subscribers, especially on YouTube, and my connections on Facebook. And I just wanted to share a little bit about what this is. We have focused on long COVID solutions. It's this Saturday at 5 p.m. UK time, depending on where you are in the world. And it is the second of our conference series, where in the first conference series, we had looked at another aspect of COVID-19, and that was upper airway solutions. This time, we're looking at long COVID. And as you can see, that we have a cohort of international speakers as well as panelists. So we have Dr. Bruce Patterson, who is from the U United States, uh, Dr. Annette Offringer from the Netherlands, Dr. Shankara Shetty from South Africa, and Dr. Tim Robinson from the United Kingdom, as well as our three panelists all from the United States with Professor Uhall, Dr. John Abels, Abelis, and Dr. Neil Bodie. This is really probably some of the highest level people that I have seen with regards to long COVID across the world. And it's something that I would like everybody to participate in. Now, this is going to be one of the first times that we are trying to do a paid event with regards to our important conferences. This is not going to be different from the live events that I will continue to host where I will speak to people from across the world. But this one is primarily about building a system where we can then get the funding required to raise the profile, one of Vision Health, as well as Macmillan Research, because there is so much to be done. I'd like to therefore welcome everybody to participate in this. Look out for it on this Saturday. Again, I share with you the, uh, the image this Saturday at 5 p.m. You will see in the description the link to find it on Eventbrite. And if you can just participate and support us in whatever way we can, it will allow us to continue to bring you some of the most fascinating discussions that we have had. You have to admit that Dr. Shankara Shetty from South Africa was an incredible discussion, as well as Gert van den Bosch, how much he has impacted the world with regards to his principles, his research, his scientific viewpoints. Um, Dr. Robert Malone, with regards to his view um, on mRNA vaccination and the, the theory behind it. So there is a lot more to come, but we look forward to getting the support from you, the subscribers, who I would ask you to help us to raise the profile and carry on the, the incredible work that we have started and we want to continue doing. So thank you very much. And I will just quickly mention my own thoughts with regards to long COVID. I will be hosting this conference. And so I don't get the chance to express some of my ideas with regards to long COVID. So I thought I'd share a few of them with you all today. This is separate from the speakers. And one of the things that I differentiate is between the symptoms of long COVID and the complications associated with COVID-19. What that means is that the person who has had COVID-19 who was in hospital, was on oxygen, was going to have some degree of lung and heart damage. And you may find that when they are out of hospital, they're still struggling with shortness of breath. They'll still be tired. That's what I consider to be a complication with regards to severe COVID-19. On the other hand, you have a number of people who are struggling with symptoms when they had only mild COVID. That's what I would really consider to be long COVID. And that's my personal opinion. Now, the reason why I differentiate that is because based on my own anecdotal observations, I have found that a lot of people who struggle with long COVID 
oftentimes seem to have an intolerance to something in their diet. And that's just over years of asking patients simple questions about their diet and about their symptoms. And there are just three simple questions that I always ask. Do you have diarrhea, constipation, or bloating? And what I encourage patients to do is that if they have any one of those symptoms, they must study carefully their diet to see what could be a contributing factor to that. Because as far as I have seen, not just long COVID, but many of the chronic diseases, migraine, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, they tend to have a very similar pattern. And oftentimes, when you look carefully at the person, their symptoms have gone on for a long time prior to the symptoms that you see them presenting with. And so this is just a quick thought to share with you from my own research, my own experience of seeing many patients, my thoughts about long COVID. But most importantly, I want you to participate in this really fascinating conference. We have over 4,000 attendees who will be coming already, and we want you to hear some of this most valuable information that would be of value to anyone who wants to understand the disease and know how to help people who are struggling with the disease. Thank you very much for your time today. And I really, really look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you.